Hey church family, it's uh, great to be here with you on this Thursday morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day and I am here to share uh, the word of encouragement with you today. Um, today we'll be talking about uh, patience. Um, it's something that uh, actually came to me as I was uh, dealing <laughs> with uh, some schoolwork with my son. So, um, but first let's uh, jump into uh, 1 Samuel uh, chapter 13 and we're in the chapter where uh, Samuel has uh, appointed Saul as king and he's uh, sitting there in chapter 13 uh, at verse 8 and he's getting ready to go on a battle and he's waiting for Samuel to come and uh, do a sacrifice. So he's waiting for, for Samuel the prophet to come in um, and perform a sacrifice before they get ready uh, to go to battle and just get a word from the, from the Lord. So it's been seven days already and Saul's getting impatient. Uh, he is impatient to the point where he decides to go ahead and sacrifice uh, on his own without Samuel. And so he does his sacrifice and immediately after he completes that sacrifice, Samuel comes up um, and he's like, what are you doing? You know, like, you know, you weren't supposed to do this. Um, and because of the impatience uh, and disobedience um, that he he showed towards Samuel and uh, God's prophet, uh, Samuel then tells him that you will no longer be king. He's like basically saying, hey, you know what? You would have been king in your generations after you would have been king forever. But since you disobeyed and were impatient because of your impatience, now uh, you will no longer be king. And so then he talks about how uh, the Lord's going to find somebody that is after his own heart. And if you continue reading, um, you know, later on that becomes David. David becomes the, the king after his own heart. But before David comes becomes king, uh, we get to a point where Saul is actually trying to kill him. Um, he's repeatedly trying to kill David. And we get to a point in David's life where he actually hides in a cave. Um, and then Saul's chasing him. And Saul ends up going to that cave and in the nighttime, or the cave was actually dark. So he goes to that cave and David actually comes and cuts off a piece of Saul's robe. And his men that are with him are saying, hey, this is the Lord's opportunity um, he's giving you right now to take out King Saul and make you the king that we already know you're supposed to be. Um, but David is patient in that time. He says, no, when the Lord... Uh, decides that it's time for me to be king, he'll make that happen. So instead of him taking uh, King Saul's life at that time um, on his own and not waiting for the Lord, he's patient in that regard and doesn't do it. So then, uh, long story short, he goes out, um, says to King Saul, hey, uh, I was here, I could have killed you, but I didn't. And so Saul kind of lets him go after that. And eventually, uh, David does become king. Um, but we can see two different stories here. One where there was patience involved, where he patiently waited for the Lord and that's King David. And then we see one of impatience where King Saul didn't wait for the Lord. And because he didn't wait, um, the blessing that he would have had was lost. Um, and whereas David with his patience, his blessing, um, came. And I think this is, uh, especially in a time right now where, you know, we're all kind of getting to a point of impatience with being stuck at home or being uh, the the homeschooler or just being uh, either at home working, trying to get those things done, or even maybe out of work. You know, we, I think we all can say that our patience is growing thin with this whole situation. And I just want to encourage uh, all of you to just stay patient. Um, the Lord rewards patience. Um, he reward, he rewards, um, us waiting on him and trusting him and waiting for his time. And I can say that in my own life, uh, <laughs> cause today, today actually I was impatient. So <laughs> instead, of, and I actually lost the opportunity to kind of, uh, show my son, um, the kind of the patience and, and, and teach him. He came up to me with a math problem, um, and he knew the answer. But he went back and he wrote the wrong answer on the paper three times in a row. And at that third time, I was frustrated and I was upset. So I kind of yelled at him like, hey, 
I know you know this. Why do you keep writing down the wrong answer? And that was a time where I lost patience. And if we think about that, you know, there are many times in our lives where we're impatient with others. We're impatient with people. We're impatient with the situation. And I just want to remind you, like, hey, think about how God treats us. You know, we made many mistakes. We make mistakes all the time and God is patient with us. So I just want to encourage you all to be patient with one another, be patient with your families, be patient with your children, um, and just have patience in this situation. I know it's hard when things uh, look like they're out of control, but God is always in control. And if we patiently wait on him, um, I think we will be super excited uh, about how he uses this situation for his glory. So I want to encourage you with that and hope you guys all have a wonderful day.